bro, I'm Justin71. We've got an awesome, awesome episode of Ignitro coming your way. In our glorious 30th episode. We're in Boston. Where it might be a little bit too soon to have inappropriate to be playing with fireworks right now. So we apologize. Let's do it. Oh yeah, our president. He has a major announcement regarding Blackest Night. Seeing, not, seeing that the number one contender has been taken out of action. All we have for you is it was a Kia that hit Chaz Michael Michaels in the parking lot. We know nothing further. That's right. You'll win another World Series in another hundred years. Ah, oh, that pig fucker has to show up. I'm assuming he thinks he doesn't have to defend his championship at Blackest Night seeing that the number one contender has been taken out of action. But for those of you who caught episode number 29, William Wallace definitely did get the last word and upper hand on the present NCAA champion. He thinks the age of Sinestro is standing strong. Well, it's hard to argue that. He's the one with the gold. And probably thinks no one can stop him. Like you would save him. Tell him, girlfriend. Scottish Destroyer! Scottish Destroyer! Scottish Destroyer! We have an impromptu match. That's awesome. Uno, dos, three. For those of you who are celebrating, say good to Mayo. Let's three, Trace. There he is, standing strong. Are we seeing a precursor of things to come in the blackest night? Looks like the match is official. Sinestro will be facing William Wallace. And that was for Chaz and for Freedom. No, 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 make it stop, make it stop. No, 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 that is not right. We are not doing that. We are not doing it. No. No, no, no. What's your problem now, Deadpool? What's my problem? We're not doing some generic music. What was that anyway? Generic movie music? Well, what do you suggest? Why don't we promote me? I'm the star here in OCBF. No, you're not. Hey, I used to be as in me as comics as Batman. One, no you never were, and two, how many counts are you in now, Deadpool? I'm gonna shoot you now. What? 
Not again! Ah! Bang! 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 Watch LCBF where I shoot this nerd again. Why? Why? I'm bleeding. Oh yeah! Looks like Sinestro's been taken! How long could I use that term? Liam Neeson wins! Fatality! Oh! It's disfigured Dick Grayson! Or disturbing Dick Grayson. Or Dick Dick Grayson. Because he's a dick. Okay. Apparently he's the current winner of Who Wants to Be a Rap? We ain't have time to spin a wheel this week. But right now it's two men who are fighting for contendership for the title this man holds. So the Coast to Coast Champion is yes, Ruffy, Kane versus Die Gardner. Clearly, whoever wins that match could be the new number one contender for the Coast to Coast Championship right now. Championship to his resume, be the second Triple Crown NCAA champion. I mean, this is a man who is. You've seen third generation guys. This guy is like a tenth or eleventh generation in the Skywalker clan. Okay, so yeah. Pick a new theme song for Guy Gardner. Let's make that a contest. Leave a comment in the comment section. And figure out a song that won't be copyrighted from the YouTube police. And be like, no, you can't play that because cause Lars Ulrich needs, needs a gold toilet and stuff. So... But I, I'm going to do his theme acapella style. This is war, and it's on tonight. Get out and fight. Get out and fight. You've had all your life to run and hide. Guys, you don't want me to sing every time he comes out. So pick a good theme song. Leave a comment. And these are two men who have yet to face off one-on-one. -on -one. This is somewhat of a dream match in some respects. Two of the top faces going against each other. Guy Gardner, no slosh in a right. He's he's had one of the longest running coast to coast championship runs. Take that, Dick Grayson. Walls of Bloodhaven. Is he doing that just to taunt Dick Grayson? K 
counter by Cade Skywalker. We're seeing a lot more counter wrestling than you'll ever see anywhere. And he turns into a submission move. And our ref is no slosh in a right. Um, former OCBF heavyweight champion. Spinebuster by Guy Gardner. Whoa! Coat of Cade out of nowhere! How he pulled that one off is beyond me. One, two, and... I was curious who... Um, Dash and Dick Grayson would be biased towards. Brightest day! These guys are breaking out the big guns. Take that, Dick Grayson! Or artist formerly known as Nightwing. I think this, this match is obviously been thrown out. And so we have no clear number one contender for that Coast to Coast Championship, obviously. Onto the chair! And ladies and gentlemen, let me just give you a quick rundown. We don't know exactly who hit Chaz. Please rewatch episode 29. All we know is it was a Kia. We don't know who was behind the wheel of the Kia, but obviously so many questions yet to be answered. Let's uh, let's pull up that footage if you can. There's Chaz. I sure hope a car doesn't hit him. Fuck! No! No! This fucks up everything! Size! So obviously, the deal is basically this. Chaz isn't going to get his title shot blackest night. And what's Big Ben doing here? Oh! I've been informed he is the latest winner of Who Wants to Be a Ref? This match coming up is for the NCAA Hardcore Championship. Too soon! Too soon! Too early to make fun of the ESC. 